Okay, so now we can simplify stuff down. We can simplify it further than we had before. We can do something called factorising. What we'll first look at is multiplying out of some brackets, and then we'll look at how to do it the other way, the factorising. So, one thing we could see written would be 2 times a plus b. So, this bracket tells us that, we've got to, that this has got to be done first. So 2 tells us it's got times a and the b. 2 is times by everything in the bracket. So, we do that. First we do 2 times the a, and then we do 2 times the b. Okay? Draw these on. They're, they're pretty useful. Make sure you do everything. So 2 times a, 2a, plus 2 times b, is 2b. It's that straightforward. What about if we had 2a up front? We had a plus 2b inside. How would that times out? Right, well, first thing we'd do is we'd do 2a times by a. <coughs> that obviously is 2a squared. And we're going to add on. So 2a times by 2b. So what's that going to be? Well, the 2's got times by the 2, so we're going to get a 4. And the a is going to times by the b, so we're going to get a b. So we have 2a squared plus 4ab. One last example on this one. We've got a minus 3 out the front. Okay, and inside we've got 4a minus 6b. So, what are we going to get here? Well, we need to do minus 3 times 4a. Minus 3 times 4. Minus and a plus, we get a minus. So I get a minus 12a. Minus 3 times minus 6. What are we going to get here? We're going to get minus 3 times minus 6. Minus and a minus. When times in, make a plus. So we're going to get plus 3 times 6, 18. And that's it, that's multiplying in our brackets. So have a quick look at doing the other way, what we call factorising, and then we'll get on with some questions. So factorising is very helpful in algebra. If I've got 4a plus 8b, I can actually make that even simpler, factorise it. What are the common factors in both of these? Well, they don't share A or B, so that's not the common factor. They've both got a factor of 4 in them. So what we do is we put that factor outside of some brackets. And what needs to go in those brackets? 4 times by A. Okay, a 4 times, what do we need to get to, to 8B? We need to put a 2B in there. So basically the exact opposite of what we've just done. So what about if I had 2x squared, because we don't have to just use a's and b's, minus 12xy. Well, what are the common factors here? There's more than one. We've got two as a common factor to both of those, and x is also a common factor to both of those. So, we would end up putting 2x at the front. And then we'd have a lovely bracket. And what we're going to say is that 2x times what equals 2x squared? 2x times x. And then minus, so minus number 2. 2x times what equals minus 12xy? 2x times minus 6y. Okay. Factorising is that straightforward and it's really, really useful later on in algebra. So really make sure you get to grips with how to factorise and collect like terms together and factorise. So 
really, really pays to be able to do it. So have a look at the questions and we'll come back and do even more.